The top three agenda items at the legislature this year are public ed, public ed, and public ed. There's nothing more fundamental to a democracy than an educated uh, populace. And we have to have funding for public education. The legislature has been committed uh, publicly to fully funding public education for the first time in a decade. Public education is the through line on every single issue, on every single priority for the state, current and future. If we don't get public education right, everything else collapses. The problem, of course, is that school finance has been in need of overhaul for decades. Historically in the state of Texas, uh, basically the schools have sued the state and then the Supreme Court has ruled and then there's normally been an injunction and then they fix school finance, but it only lasts for a little bit. Austin sort of became the anomaly for everything that's wrong under school finance. Um, Austin's dramatically changed in the last five years, let alone the last 30 years when since school finance formula has been meaningfully updated. Number one was just what's happened with property taxes. And I think there's a lot of people who are interested in what's going on with school finance, but there's a whole lot more that are also interested of what's going on with, with the property taxes. So I think when those two issues came together, when we had a need to make sure that we have school finance working right and then you had skyrocketing property taxes and everyone has said that those two things are tied together and you can't fix one without fixing the other. So the state's over-reliance on local property taxpayers to fund public education coupled with just sort of the outdatedness and all agreed brokenness of the funding formula really put us where we're at today where we had to take meaningful swift action to really cure the problems in the system. I think we still need to be talking about what we need to do with school finance and long term, what is our vision for the state of Texas for public education? There are three significant drivers for the future of Texas. One is precipitous population growth. We've got to educate current Texans and future Texans because they are future citizens, future employees, future employers, and future state leaders. So population growth is one thing. The second thing is that we're becoming much more of an urban state. And then the third thing is that the de demographic uh, composition of the population is changing dramatically. So if we don't fix the public school finance system now, don't get out ahead of all these changes, we'll be no place. Really what we're doing is working today on behalf of tomorrow. The other piece too is that I don't think a lot of Texans uh, know that our state for our students, are very, they're very poor. 60% uh, of our kids are on free reduced lunch. That's a dramatic thing that we have to address in our finance system. Uh, kids need more services. Um, poverty brings with it a lot of challenges in the school system, and I think it's time that we address that. We've got to fix this. We've got to reduce recapture. We've got to update the funding formula so Austin can, you know, Austin districts like Austin can have what they need to operate. Um, and and I think Austin stands to gain a lot from the changes, the reforms that are currently under play. And hopefully, the work done this legislative session is a significant step on, on the road to fixing it. You can't fix it all at once, too big, too complicated. But this is the first swing at the ball that appears to connect.